Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing another rule regarding counting patterns. If you remembered, we had previously done the word Fanta. And what I had told you when we were doing this was that A is treated as different letters. Now, when I treated them as different letters, it means if I put A in position 1 and I refer to this A, then if I had A, F, N, T, A. Let's say I had that. It would mean that if I had another one that looked exactly the same, I would tell you, listen, this is one option and this is a second option. Why? Because in this one I'm using the first A, but in this one I'm using the second A. So what happens in when we were doing these factorial was that we treated the alphabets as different alphabets even though they were the same alphabets. So we treated, we treated them differently. But what happens when they say, listen, we don't accept that anymore. If I started with the first A or I started with the second A, it's exactly the same word. So we don't want you to count that as two different options, but rather as one option. So what we use is, we use the, the formula that says the factorial of the total amount of letters. So let's say I used Fenta again. In Fenta, there are five options. And then the letters that are repeated is A. But how many A's are there? There are two A's. So my answer would now only be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 all over 2 and then it would cancel and we'd have 5 times 4 times 3. Or you could simply use your calculator stating 5 factorial over 2 factorial. So you could use your calculator using the factorial button and your answer would be 60. Now look at the difference in the answers. When we had said that A is treated differently, we got 120 options. But when we say, nope, that's not going to happen, we are going to treat A as a same letter. We only had 60 options. Now, when you have more than one letter in the word, okay, let us take the word mathematics. I want to know how many words I can form with mathematics. If I count, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 options. If I'm one, how many words I can form with mathematics, then it means I'm also stating that there are 11 positions. So I know that if I have 11 positions and 11 letters, then my answer is 11 factorial. But that is on condition that the letters are treated differently. That means your M's are different, your A's are different, and your T's are different. If I am saying that my letters are treated differently, then I would have had 11 factorial. But now, what happens when I say the letters are treated identical? Now that would mean that I have 11 factorial, but over 11 factorial, I have my M, which there are two of them. Then I have my A, which is also two. And then I have my T, which is also two. So my final answer is 11 factorial all over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So the total amount of options you have four million nine hundred and eighty nine thousand six hundred. Whereas in the beginning, had you had no adjustments and you said all the letters are treated differently, look how different the answers are. Look how big it is. You have 39,916,800. Can you see how big the differences are? Even when you used Fanta, the one option was 60 and the other option was 120. It was double. Okay, now, these questions are not always that simple. 
let us say that you're using the word mathematics but I tell you now that the letters are treated differently number one they are treated differently okay and the word has to start with M. Now if you look we have 11 options 1 and then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Altogether 11. Now why did I specify first the 1? If we are working with mathematics and they are telling us that listen you are treating the alphabets differently. That means in my first alphabet I have two options because I have the first M and I have the second M. Now, the other 10 positions, they are treated differently, okay, but also what they are going to say is that you cannot repeat the letters. So remember, treated differently and repeated is two different things. So they are different letters and they can not be repeated. Now, if you had used one there, remember even though there's two options, you could put the first M or the second M you still have 10 options for this one. You have 9, you had 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which is the same as saying 2 times 10 factorial. Can you see? Because in the first one you had only two options. Okay, but let's look at the second one where they are treated identical. And the word has to start with M. So it's treated identical. The word has to start with M. And obviously we are going to say that there is no repetition. Now, if we look at the first position, if you take out the first position, in the first position, we only have one option. It has to be M, okay? But let us take the next 10. So if I take out my 1M, now look at my mathematics. Now I'm looking only at the 10. Now I know I have 10 options, right? But what is repeated? A is repeated. My T is repeated. But remember, M is not repeated. You already took it out. Can you see your options are only A, T, H, E, M, A, T, I, C, S. So what do we have? We only have two repetitions, which is my A's and my T's. You can use your calculator again. So we have 10 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And then it's times it by 1, which is equal to 9 107,200. How many options in the word mathematics are there if the letters are treated identical and the words start and end with the same letter? Now look here. We know we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 options. We also know that M, there's two of them that A is 2, we know that T there is 2. Now if they say that they are treated at I as identical, then we know, okay, we need to be careful with the rules. We need to take out the identicals. But if the word starts and ends with the same letter, now if it starts with M and it ends with M, then what am I left with? If you look, I am left with only nine letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But if we take the word mathematics, I'm taking out now the M's. So I'm left with nine. So we know it's nine, but we also know there's repeats. But remember now, I'm not considering M anymore. M is out. So I only have the A's that are repeated and I only have the T's that are repeated. Now that is one set of options where I made M 
the start and the end. But I have another option. I could have made A my start and my end. So if A was my start and my end, then I would have had, if you took the word mathematics, I'd have taken out my A's, so I still have nine options, but my M is repeated, and my T is repeated. So again, I have it over two factorial times two factorial. Then let's say now I have to do the third option because I could start it with the T and end it with the T. Then inside I would still have nine letters. And again, now what would be repeated would be my A and my M. So it would be two factorial, two factorial. Now, when we have a question like this where there are so many different options, this is option one, this is option two, and this is option three. Then what we do is, do you remember in our grade 10 where we had worked with or? If I say it's this one or it's this one or it's this one, then I am adding. So my final answer would be 9 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial plus. Again, 9 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial plus. 9 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial. So, because it said or, I would take in all considerations. The first style, I would take in the second style, and I would take in the third style. Now you could simply use your calculator, and your final answer would be 272,160 options. Remember, when you're using this rule, always what you are taking out, remove it and only work with the remainder. So you see, I had 11 letters. I took out M. I only had 9 letters. So I ignored M completely and then I went on. Thank you for watching.